In this video we will show how to model a standard interest rate swap and price it using Fairmat Professional and the Fairmat.com data provider. First of all we must set the valuation and the effective date of the contract. Let's suppose that we are interested in pricing a contract for the 24th of August and that payments will start on August the 27th 2012. Open parameters and functions windows and enter the two scalars constants, the notional amount, let's say 1 million bullet, and a fixed rate, 0.99% in our case. We need a vector of reference dates in order to define the payment dates. We call this PDU, Payment Date Unadjusted. In many cases, in the term sheets, the effective date and termination dates appear, but payments usually start on the subsequent period. We can easily generate the vector of reference dates for our five-year contract with six monthly frequency by setting the effective and termination dates and by excluding the first date. In order to obtain the payment dates, we must adjust the vector PDU by specifying the market convention. In the same way, we enter reset dates by specifying delay, market convention and the reset type. Finally, the dates vector difference calculates the length of every payment period using the specified convention. We then add a stochastic process by choosing from the available interest rate models. In this case, the Harlem White model fitted our needs. With Fairmat Professional, we can obtain zero rate and model parameters with the Fairmat.com market data provider. To do that, we must specify the reference market for the underlying and the calibration method we prefer, and we must calibrate the underlying process. As we can see, now the zero rate and the model parameters have been calibrated at the required date. And we can also see a preview of the dynamic of our underlying. We must specify a discounting model. In our case, the underlying governs both the payoff and discounting. Hence, we opt for a stochastic discounting linked to the process V1. Fairmat simplifies the replication of the structure of the contract by representing its structure with graphical elements. In order to build the IRS payment structure, we drag a functional operator and an option strip leg into the so-called option map. This option strip represents the floating rate leg. We define how payments and exercises have to be indexed with respect to the vector of payment dates. The payoff is the six-month Eurobor that we define using the function rate, which calculates the rate for a given reset date and maturity. At V1 indicates that the rate must be calculated over the trajectories of the underlying V1, in our case the Eurobor. Finally, by multiplying it for the coverage period, the floating leg is obtained. In order to model the fixed rate leg, we add another option strip. The payoff is just the fixed rate we defined in parameter and functions multiplied by the coverage period. In the functional operator, x1 and x2 represent respectively the floating and fixed leg. The functional operator gives us the flexibility of defining the contract from the perspective we want. By writing x1 minus x2 and multiplying it for the notional previously defined, we have the fixed payer point of view. Now we can calculate the value of the contract.
As we can see, the probability distribution of the mark-to-market and additional descriptive statistics are easily calculated. The effort taken to model the easy contract is the same as we would need to replicate a very complex contract like the one we opened. We took advantage of the option map to replicate the complex payment structure and using the algebraic language simplified the task of defining the complex payoff. If you need to model a typical standardized contract you can save even more time by using the Fairmat template section. You can browse the template that fits your needs, a vanilla IRS in our case, and edit the template fields. After that you have the option of modifying the contract in the usual way. Once the project has been created, we need to set trading and effective dates. And to generate the date sequence. All the other model parameters are automatically updated, but we can change the default settings if necessary. As before, we must set up the reference market and calibrate the model parameters against the market data provided by the Fairmat.com market data provider. We are now ready to price the contract. You can also save the project in a file. Future updates of the valuation will require only changing the valuation date.